The Brigada syndrome is a genetic disease that is characterized by abnormal electrocardiogram findings and an increased risk of sudden cardiac death. It is named by the Spanish cardiologists Pedro Brigada and Joseph Brigada. It is the major cause of sudden unexplained death syndrome, also known as sudden adult death syndrome, and is the most common cause of sudden death in young men without known underlying cardiac disease in Thailand and Laos. Although the ECG findings of Brigada syndrome were first reported among survivors of cardiac arrest in 1989, it was only in 1992 that the Brigada brothers recognized it as a distinct clinical entity, causing sudden death by causing ventricular fibrillation in the heart. Genetics and Pathophysiology Approximately 20% of the cases of Brigada syndrome have been shown to be associated with mutations in the gene that encodes for the sodium ion channel in the cell membranes of the muscle cells of the heart. The gene, named SCN5A, is located on the short arm of the third chromosome. Loss of function mutations in this gene lead to a loss of the action potential dome of some epicardial areas of the right ventricle. This results in transmural and epicardial dispersion of repolarization. The transmural dispersion underlies street segment elevation and the development of a vulnerable window across the ventricular wall, whereas the epicardial dispersion of repolarization facilitates the development of phase II reentry, which generates a phase II reentrant extracystole that captures the vulnerable window to precipitate ventricular tachycardia and/or fibrillation that often results in sudden cardiac death. At present time however, all the reported patients who died because of the disease and were submitted to detailed autopsy study have shown a structural right ventricular pathology underlying the syndrome. Over 160 mutations in the SCN5A gene have been discovered to date, each having varying mechanisms and effects on function, thereby explaining the varying degrees of penetration and expression of this disorder. An example of one of the mechanisms in which a loss of function of the sodium channel occurs is a mutation in the gene that disrupts the sodium channel's ability to bind properly to NK and G, an important protein mediating interaction between ion channels and cytoskeletal elements. Very recently a mutation in a second gene, glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase 1-like gene has been shown to result in Brigada syndrome in a large multigenerational family. This gene acts as an ion channel modulator in the heart, although the exact mechanism is not yet understood. Recently Ant Selvich has identified mutations in the L-type calcium channel subunits and CACNB2, leading to street elevation and a relatively short QT interval. For a comprehensive list of all mutations see in 2013. Bezina A. Al showed that common variants at SCN5A, SCN10A and HEY2 are associated with Brigada syndrome. This condition is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern and is more common in males. In addition it has a higher prevalence in most Asian populations. Diagnosis Genetic testing for Brigada syndrome is clinically available and may help confirm a diagnosis as well as differentiate between relatives who are at risk for the disease and those who are not. Electrocardiography In some cases, the disease can be detected by observing characteristic patterns on an electrocardiogram, which may be present all the time or might be elicited by the administration of particular drugs or class 1C antiarrhythmic drugs that block sodium channels and cause appearance of ECG abnormalities, or resurface spontaneously due to as yet unclarified triggers. Brigada syndrome has three different ECG patterns. Type 1 has a cove type street elevation with at least two OMJ point elevation a gradually descending street segment followed by a negative T wave. Type 2 has a saddle back pattern with at least two OMJ point elevation and at least one OM street elevation with a positive or biphasic T wave. Type 2 pattern can occasionally be seen in healthy subjects. Type 3 has either a coved or a saddle back pattern with less than two OMJ point elevation and less than one OM street elevation. Type 3 pattern is not uncommon in healthy subjects. The pattern seen on the ECG is persistent street elevations in the electrocardiographic leads V1 V3 with the right bundle branch block appearance with or without the terminal S waves in the lateral leads that are associated with a typical RBBB. A prolongation of the PR interval is also frequently seen. The ECG can fluctuate over time, 
depending on the autonomic balance and the administration of antiarrhythmic drugs. Adrenergic stimulation decreases the street segment elevation, while vagal stimulation worsens it. The administration of class EA, IC and 3 drugs increases the street segment elevation, as does fever. Exercise decreases street segment elevation in some patients but increases it in others. The changes in heart rate induced by atrial pacing are accompanied by changes in the degree of street segment elevation. When the heart rate decreases, the street segment elevation increases and when the heart rate increases the street segment elevation decreases. However, the contrary can also be observed. Treatment The cause of death in Brigada syndrome is ventricular fibrillation. The episodes of syncope and sudden death are caused by fast polymorphic ventricular tachycardias or ventricular fibrillation. These arrhythmias appear with no warning. While there is no exact treatment modality that reliably and totally prevents ventricular fibrillation from occurring in this syndrome, treatment lies in termination of this lethal arrhythmia before it causes death. This is done via implantation of an implantable cardioverter defibrillator which continuously monitors the heart rhythm and will defibrillate an individual if ventricular fibrillation is noted. Recent studies have evaluated the role of quinidine, a class E antiarrhythmic drug, for decreasing VF episodes occurring in this syndrome. Quinidine has been found to both decrease the number of VF episodes and correct spontaneous ECG changes, possibly via inhibiting ETO channels. Some drugs have been reported to induce the type 1 ECG and or arrhythmias in Brigada syndrome patients. Patients with Brigada syndrome can prevent arrhythmias by avoiding these drugs or using them only in controlled conditions. Those with risk factors for coronary artery disease may require an angiogram before ICD implantation. See also, cardiac action potential, catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, references. External links, brigadadrugs.org, maintained by Brigada specialists, contains a list of drugs to avoid in patients with the Brigada syndrome, gene reviews, Brigada syndrome, beer, http www.c-r-y.org.uk slash long underscore qt underscore syndrome dot htm, the Ramon Brigada Senior Foundation, La Syndrome de Brigada.